Welcome to Live Aligned Pilates. I'm Liv and today we have an upper body Pilates flow. Let's start in a kneeling position, sitting back onto our heels, clasping our hands together, reaching those palms forward as you round through your spine, chin to chest. Inhale to lift and lengthen those hands to the sky, making space through your spine and again rounding as you press forward. Just a few more at your own pace here, starting to warm up the spine and the shoulders. Next time you lift, cactus your arms out to the side. Same motion through the spine, this time bringing elbows together, chin to chest. And again, opening up, expanding those collarbones. That's it, elbows touch, chin to chest, round through the upper back. And then open up, extend through the spine. At your own pace here. Let's start to flip those forearms parallel to the floor and then back to that cactus position, working through our shoulder rotation. Ensuring our elbows stay up in line with our shoulders. That's it. We pulse back, pinching between the shoulder blades each time we pulse and drawing the core in nice and strong. From here, let's pulse up to the ceiling, little pulses up, starting to really warm up the tops of the shoulders. Good, and release down, coming to a kneeling tabletop position. We move through our thread the needle, right arm reaches to the sky, and then threads underneath to the opposite side of the mat. Two more like this. And last one here, big reach up to the ceiling and underneath. Opening your right arm out to a cactus position once again. Again, similar motion as we rotate and open. This time we really focus on squeezing that right shoulder blade and bringing the arm parallel to the floor as you open up. Pressing down through your supporting side arm. Perfect. From here, let's go for an overhead press. Really pulling the elbow back, feeling your lats start to warm up. As you reach overhead, you want to feel lots of space between your ear and shoulder. We always aim to keep the arm up in line with the rest of the body during this series. Let's now flip our palm back towards our hip and sweep the arm all the way to your side. Flip the palm in and sweep overhead. Keeping the shoulder locked down in place. And reaching all of that energy through our fingertips. Drawing in through your core to stabilize the rest of your body here. Wonderful, almost there. That's it, flipping the palm up to the sky, let's pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keeping that arm back by your side, sitting back to your heels, reach your left arm overhead. Let's come back into that arm sweep now. We want a nice long line from the fingertips all the way down to our tailbone. We're slightly hinging forward over those thighs. And our right shoulder is really feeling it right now. We're doing so well, we're almost there. Finish off this kneeling series with some pulses, reaching that left arm forward, right arm back, pulsing both arms at the same time, pressing up and back, 
perfect give those shoulders a little shrug now let's come into a side lying position where we hug our left arm underneath us and press our right hand down in front of us on the mat we're coming into that side lying push up pressing down through your top hand pushing the torso up lower the shoulder down and then extend your top leg long bring it in four more of these pressing up lower with control extend the leg bring it in really try and lift the body as one unit rather than pushing the upper body only lifting through the waist you've got it now this time we keep our top leg extended we do five push-ups keeping that top leg nice and straight moving in a pendulum motion You've got this, that tricep is really burning up. One more from here. So good. And then take a seat, up we come. Quick stretch of that right arm, bringing it across your body, hooking it with the left. And moving into an overhead tricep stretch. Let's even things out, finding your hands and knees. Three, thread the needle, this time opening your left arm up towards the ceiling, reaching underneath to the opposite side of the mat. Two more here. You want to square off the hips and drop that left shoulder down. Open up to your cactus position same thing here we rotate elbow to elbow open up forearm parallel to the floor that's it really dropping that left shoulder down as you draw the elbow across and we set up for our overhead press reaching your left arm forward pulling the elbow back nice Aiming, remember to keep your arm up in line with your torso for this entire series. Feeling that connection under your armpit as you pull the elbow back. Lovely, flipping your palm back towards your hip as you sweep your arm towards your side and then back overhead. Making sure you flip the palm in as you reach overhead and flip the palm back as you sweep towards your side. Making sure that you're not dumping your weight into your supporting side arm, so pressing through that arm and hand and fingertips, drawing up and in through your core, creating that stable foundation a few more here and we come into those arm pulses that's it flipping your palm up to the ceiling pulsing for six five four three two one amazing sitting back onto your heels reaching your right arm overhead another round of your arm sweeps now not only is your left shoulder burning up your right shoulder has worked really hard up until this point so you'll be feeling it in both sides long line of energy from fingertips to tailbone keep going you've got it finishing with our pulses let's pulse both arms up and back for five four three two one so good shrug it out setting up for your side lying push-up coming onto your right side wrapping your right arm underneath your waist and your top hand comes down in front of you now drawing through the obliques press yourself up lower down with control extend your top leg and return four more of these press and extend Good, the shoulders, the waist lifts off the floor. 
and then you're still supporting yourself with that top hand as you lower down. One more like this and then we keep our top leg extended, adding a bit of extra weight and instability. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one, you've done it. Come up and take a stretch, bringing your left arm in front of you, hooking it with the right. And then taking that overhead tricep stretch. Coming into our final series of exercises, finding a seated position, hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards the toes. We come into our tricep dip. We hug those elbows in nice and tight and shift our weight back into our arms as we bend the elbows. Two more here. Adding on a hip lift, coming into that reverse tabletop position. Tricep press, reverse tabletop, squeezing the glutes, connecting in through the core to keep our neutral spine. Big press up opening through the shoulders and the chest here as well. Squeezing between those shoulder blades. One more here. Now let's hold this position, keeping those hips high. Can we go for our tricep dips? Nice job. Keep pressing those hips to the ceiling. All of the weight in the arms here, almost there. Two. And one, good job, bring it down, extend the legs forward, reaching to the sky, forward fold. Round through the back, relax through the neck and the shoulders, deep breaths here. When you're ready, bringing yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Side bending over to the right, reaching your left arm overhead and circling forward side bend to the left one more to each side and sitting up nice and tall giving those shoulders a shrug up down and back stretching your neck left ear to left shoulder right ear to right shoulder chin to chest chin to sky and that is all we have today. I really hope you enjoyed this upper body focused Pilates flow. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new workouts every week. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.